For upper posterior periapicals using a sensor, angle the bite block and place the sensor behind the maxillary teeth of interest. Always make sure that the patient is biting on the widest portion of the bite block. Position the, center like, the sensor like this and ask the patient to close together. You'll notice that there's a blue line on the edge of the bite block here. When aligning the BID for a maxillary premolar or molar periapical, I usually use an angulation of between plus 20 and plus 30 degrees. To decide how far anterior posteriorly to place the tube head, put your finger on the blue line of the bite block and gently position the aperture of the BID so that the blue line is just within the edge of the aperture. Then you want to make sure that you're going to get the periapical areas of the teeth shown. So I usually recommend about three quarters of the height of the BID being above the bite block here and only a quarter of the BID being below the bite block. This is to ensure that you get the periapical area of the tooth and the crown of the tooth of interest showing. For lower posterior periapicals using a sensor, place the sensor behind the mandibular teeth of interest like this and get the patient to close together again on the widest part of the bite block. Then align the BID, a vertical angulation of about minus or minus 20, minus 20 or minus 30 works well. Again, align the BID so that the front edge of the BID is just level with the blue line on the bite block. Then this time you want the majority of the BID to be below the bite block and only about a quarter of the BIB, BID to be above the bite block. Then make the exposure.